get, get your wheel up in the air. 19 millimeter. For the wheel cover. Nineteen on your wheel studs, lug nuts. Gotta get you some cobwebs. I think that's mandatory. Eighteen millimeter up top, twenty one down on the bottom. the rear shock and you'll see here in a second why I'm doing the spring so since this is a solid axle you're going to need to take both wheels and tires off to be able to get the spring out even with a broken spring you can't move it enough to get it out so I'm going to zip off the other one Okay, so we got the other tire all shock out. So now we got enough to push down. I think. All right. So yours may come out like this, or this bump stop may stay in. So if you got a broken spring, this bottom cup is just like the top one. So the spring is wrapped around the plastic. I'm going to guess that there's some type of grooves like this. Holding on to some type of stud. So I've just been working it back and forth. So you kind of get the idea what I'm... If you're in the same situation, if you're not, eh, <laughs> lucky you. So yeah, pry bar and flathead screwdriver just kind of worked it back and forth. It's been sitting on her forever. I'm gonna wrestle the spring out of these grooves here, and we'll continue on. Look at the top. Yeah. 
It just matches the top. That's the bottom. I don't know if that helps anybody. I believe that's what it is. So, part number, the link is in the description, but the part number up, and that's top. Well, after a little fighting, finally got these out. Well, the old ones, got a little spray on them, and then see, see if we can play a little bouncy bounce. Probably, maybe easier to put these in first. See if that helps. No way. Oh. Just gotta get better at the bouncy bounce. Torque specs are, I think, 66, 81 foot pounds, and then I think the lugs are 100. That's on setting one. So don't get too, don't get too crazy mad. Or you probably could use your own personal um, torque settings of good and tight and a little extra good and tight. Some, some of you might be lucky enough to have the uh, newer style torque bars that get that you get the satisfying click on. <laughs> nope, two is too much. My bad, y'all. Let's back her off. We're looking for 81 or good and tight. And then we need 19 back for the wheels. Hit the jack. <laughs> okay. I was a shade tree mechanic, but the sun came out. 
There we go. One, let's see, should be around 20. Let's check. Yep. So two should be, I think they were, I think that rear shock is like a, right around 100. So we give it one tap on two. Okay, well, we'll put it on the ground. I don't know why I have a toe strain for it. So, but yeah. I think you guys get the picture from here.